In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to draw steps. Make a new doc, part design, new sketch, XY plane, OK. So let's use the polyline and just draw steps. So click, click, and hover over the first dot till it turns yellow, and then complete the shape. So have this shape, so a right angle-ish, and then three steps. The problem is it's not symmetrical we're going to define how long each line should be and we're going to talk about something called constraints. Notice here how it has that little line going up. That's forcing this line to go straight up and down. This line's kind of jaggedy. Notice how there's no constraint there. This one does have a constraint. See that line right there? That's a, a vertical constraint. So this line is forced to be straight up and down. This one does not this one does, and this one has a line going this way. That's a horizontal uh, constraint, so it forces the line to go straight horizontally. This one has one vertical constraint, and this has a horizontal constraint. The reason why some have the constraints and some don't, it's because under edit controls, auto constraints was checked. So if you do not want them, if you don't want to have these constraints be created automatically whenever they think they can, you can uncheck that. But it's checked by default, so. To, to work with constraints. So there, it's over here. I have to, I'm going to move my tools over here by dragging that little line area. I'm going to right click to deselect. And I'm going to select this line. Click that line, and then these are your constraints. This this kind of tripped me up when I first started using this program because this is drawing shapes. When they're see how they're like white. When they're all red, these are constraints. So I'll just look for the all red and know that that's different than the drawing shapes here. Anyway, click that line, and this button here will be a horizontal. Notice how it's it's snapped into place. Same with this one. Click there, horizontal. And now all of my shapes are constrained. If 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 it doesn't, it's gonna delete that one. Let's just say this one was like that. You can click on that one, and you could do a vertical constraint to make that forced vertical. And now we have a fully constrained drawing. That means each line is is has a constraint on it. Next step, we're gonna have each of these be 30 millimeters. We're going we're gonna to have a, a dimension constraint. So click that and click this arrow right there. Put 30, enter. Click that line, arrow, 30, enter. Click this line. So you just go through and just 30 mil. 30 mil. Click here, arrow. 30, click here, arrow, 30, click there, arrow, there you go. And you can always move these out of the way if you need to. It doesn't matter if you move them out of the way or not, but just trying to show you that you can. So each of these should be 30 mil. And then you have a staircase that's constrained and you've defined the dimensions for each. Press close, pad, rotate, and let's make the pad uh, longer, like 100. That's okay. There you go. Right click, fit all, staircase.